Hey folks, how you doing? It's Dutch Fried here. Hey, um, I haven't had an opportunity to really do a how-to or a help video in a while because I really haven't had a topic to talk about. Uh, but I ran into one, and it's one I've been dealing with for about a month, and I finally found a solution. And the issue I've been having is uh, with uh, sounds in older games. Actually, kind of think of it in most games. Now, what I've got here is I've got Origin up, and I've got X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter, which is like a 25-year-old game. And I got it through Origin for like three bucks around Christmas or that. And I, you know, I've always wanted to play it. It's the balance of power, so it's got everything. But the problem I'm having is with sound. And I thought, well, gee, I, I went everywhere trying to figure out what's the problem. I, you know, you can't... My, my system is so old that I can't get updated drivers for anything. So it's an Asus P6T Deluxe V2 motherboard, which means it's either got an ADI or a SoundMax uh, audio chipset on it. Those are 5.1 chipsets. There are no Windows 10 drivers. This is Windows 10 I'm running. So what needs to happen is... Um, you need to figure out some way to make Windows 10 work with these games and work with your sound. And one thing I discovered is that Windows 10, by default, if it finds a 5.1 chipset, it automatically defaults to 5.1 for sound. Well, the problem with that is if you're only using two speakers like I am, which is basically, you know, 2.0, um, you're going to miss out on some sounds. You're not going to hear everything. And the best example of that, I'll show you right here. I've got the game running right here. Um, but here we go. You see how you can hear the music, but you're not hearing any of the sounds. At least I'm not hearing them. But actually, if I turn up the... No, I won't. Anyway, you're not hearing the sounds. Like You should be hearing click and noises and, and all kinds of stuff going on here. Um, and... I'm not. I'm not hearing any incidental or anything. All I'm hearing is the music. So, see, I should be hearing a lot of noise right here. And I'm hearing nothing. Now, you may be hearing it in the recording, but live, I'm not hearing it. Anyway, let's go ahead and just do this. Don't touch anything. I'm hearing music. But I'm not hearing the laser sounds. Okay. I'm not hearing engine sounds. I'm not hearing the voiceovers. I'm not hearing anything but the music. Alright? And that is because... Get out of here. You should have heard noise there, too. That is because the sound, the, the sound output is not coming from the speakers. You know, OBS may be picking it up and processing it, but it's not, I'm not hearing it, which is a problem. Okay? And you probably will have the same issues, especially if you're just playing the game and not trying to stream or something like that. So, here's the fix. Okay? You have to open sound settings. And the first thing you see here is that you don't have a whole lot of settings to mess with. You don't have control over 5171, 2.0, 2.0. You don't have any of that stuff here. Okay, you can go into manage sound devices, nothing. Okay, you've, you've got nothing here. It's, it's all romper room stuff. Where you have to go is actually in the sound control panel. All right, like you're seeing here. And you go into your speakers. And what, to, the way to fix this problem is you have to bring all the sounds into one source. So the way to do that is you go to Enhancements, and you select Speaker Fill. Okay, you apply it. Test it, it works. You say, okay, great. So that works. Close this out. We'll try this again. Open balance of power again. Okay, see so here I'm hearing noises now. I'm hearing all this stuff. Now, you may be, it may sound just the same as it was before because of OBS, but trust me, I was hearing none of this before. Okay? Nothing. 
I wasn't hearing any of the clicks, any of the incidentals, nothing. I wasn't hearing any of that, it's nothing. Now I am. All right, let's fly. Okay. Do, 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 do. Don't trust anything until told to. I'm hearing the no primary target. Their home is damaged. I'm hearing the voices. The primary voices. target may be destroyed. Okay. The home of primary target. Their home is damaged. Fire at will. Right. Destroy target one. Your targeting box. The home of primary target may be destroyed. See? Now I'm hearing. I'm hearing the explosions. I'm hearing the heat. To see your right. So, and the, and the fix again, the same even hearing these noises. And I was having the same problem in Battlefield 1. And that is all because Windows 10 automatically thinks you're running a 5.1 sound system even if you're not. Uh, because Windows uses the default driver. Their default driver. And I'll show you that actually. Um, if you look at device properties, no you don't. Again, say nothing. Go into sound control panel. All right, playback speakers. And if you look at the properties for the device, you see it's Microsoft. Okay, there, there's there's no. It's a Microsoft driver. There's no sound max. There's no ADI. There's no nothing here. It's just Microsoft. And Microsoft has a default, and they don't give you enough controls to fix what the sound output is like. So there's your fix, guys. Again, you go to speakers. Go to Enhancements, Enable Speaker Fill, Apply, and then OK, and you'll be fixed. And your old games and your new games and all that, if you've got a two-speaker setup, it's going to work. All right. So I'm hoping this was helpful to you. Um, we'll talk to you soon. I'm out.